I'm here at the Biotech and Money Conference with Lionel Sigal, President and CEO of Quantum Genomics. Lionel, if you could sum up your business for me. Well, Quantum is a French uh, biotech company. We've launched Quantum Genomics uh, 11 years ago. Uh, we are developing first-in-class drugs uh, to target uh, complicated hypertension, complicated to treat hypertension, and resistant hypertension, but also chronic heart failure. And hypertension is a high blood pressure. How, how common is high blood pressure in the, in the community? Uh, it's very common disease. Uh, one third of adults is suffering from high blood pressure. And uh, with aging, it's worse as uh, when you turn 50 years old, it's 50% of, of the people that are suffering from high blood pressure. Does it do bad things to you? Does that do bad things? Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of complications. Uh, and the most common one, unfortunately, is that people can die due to the complication of high blood pressure with stroke or heart attack. And uh, approximately every year, 9.4 million people uh, are dying due to this complication of high blood pressure. So yes, it's, it's a very, very uh, um, tricky disease. And uh, uh, we name it a silent killer. What are your drugs? What are your treatments? What do you have? What do you have that's being being planned? Well, we we have uh, a product which that is targeting a new pathway at brain level. Uh, that's a discovery coming from Inserm, which is the French National Institute of Health and Medical Research. Catherine Lawrence Cortez, who is a neurobiologist, has demonstrated that there is a pathway at brain level involved in the regulation of blood pressure, and this pathway may be a very intriguing treatment for patients that are suffering from high blood pressure and that are um, in a specific subgroup of patients. We name this subgroup of patients lorenin high vasopressin. Those patients are more likely to suffer from salt-dependent hypertension and are more likely, unfortunately, to suffer from resistant hypertension and are not well controlled by existing drugs. So this product, uh, we, we, we we, we think that this product is a good fit for those patients and what we try to demonstrate in our clinical trials and mainly in New Hope study, so the study we are just launching in the US, but basically we name it New Hope because hopefully we have something new to offer to those patients that this product may treat those patients with resistant hypertension or not well controlled What's hypertension. What to say is this is not for everybody, this is, this is for a subset. This is for um, yeah. a, 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 is it black people and Asian people specifically? Not you, only you, black you, you and Asian. But, but yeah. who, who, in, who in the community is liable to, to uh, more, more this prone profile, to this? This profile, the Lorenin high vasopressin profile, is overexpressed in elderly people. So when we will turn 50 years old, if we start to suffer from high blood pressure, maybe we'll be lucky if this product is on the market. Uh, for me, 50 years old is coming quickly now. Uh, but so, elderly people, Asian, African American, Hispanic patients are more likely to suffer from uh, high blood pressure and to be m part of this subgroup of patients. What progress have you made in your clinical trials? We are just launching this new OP study. So, we have just completed a phase 2A in Europe. Uh, we've disclosed the results at the European Society of Hypertension Congress in June. And we, we are just launching the trial here, uh, not here, but in the US, uh, to, to, to treat those patients. And how many people take part in that trial? 250 patients will be enrolled in this trial uh, in 25 clinical research centers uh, across the US. And we plan to complete uh, this trial in terms of recruitment of patients, to enroll all the patients by year end 2018, and as a result, by mid 2019. So what's the investment case for quantum genomics? Why should an investor invest with you? Well, first of all, it's uh, because we, we are developing this really great class of drug, new class of drug uh, for high blood pressure and uh, chronic heart failure. That's our huge and met medical need. It's, it's a huge need for patients, but it's also a huge need for big pharmaceutical companies that are seeking innovative drugs. Uh, to, to fill their pipeline in this cardiovascular area. And, then, and, and I would say at the moment, we've raised, uh, we did a capital increase in, in, uh, in July uh, to support uh, our current development. We raised an additional cash of 8.2 million. And uh, we, we are uh, at a lower price, uh, probably a historical lower price, so I think it's a good momentum to enter into the company and to invest in the company now. And which exchange are you listed on? 
uh, we listed on the uh, Paris Stock Exchange on the Euronext growth. And what's your market cap? Our market cap is uh, around 35 to 40 million, depending on the day. And uh, our ticker is ALQGC. And finally, what are your clinical and operational objectives for 2017, 2018? Well, we, 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 are, uh, we have two main clinical trials, ongoing trials. Phase 2A, the name is Quid HF for heart failure, which is running in, in, uh, in Europe, across Europe, and in, in, in England, but also in Norway, France, Germany, and so on and so forth. Eight countries, 15 clinical centers. So we plan to, to, to have the results of this study in 2018 and uh, to, to start the recruitment of patients, uh, our other for patients in Europe by the end of this year, complete the recruitment by the end of 2018 and have the result by mid-2019. So it's quite busy years, 2017, 18, and beginning of 19. Uh, two large trials, ongoing trials, and uh, we hope we, we will uh, find the best partner to finance the phase three and uh, continue, uh, bring this product to, to the patients. Lionel Figar, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.